Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our ERC from the field uh, session, where I am pleased to host uh, Francesca Mona from Barcelona. Francesc, good morning. Buen dias. Good morning. Good morning to all of you. How are you doing, Francesc? Well, now much better than one month before. Okay. Francesc, can you tell us what uh, do your job consist of? What, what is your role or was your role during this uh, pandemic? Uh, I am physician in the emergency medical system of Barcelona and I used to be the head of the guard uh, of, the, of the emergency medical system in the city. Okay, so you, you mainly do pre-hospital care of uh, patients, is that right? That's right. Okay. We only manage uh, pre-hospital patients. Uh, Francesca, first question. What uh, left the biggest impression on you uh, during uh, the care of pre-hospital, uh, the pre-hospital care of patients uh, in this pandemic? Uh, well, um, the pre-hospital setting has not been um, submitted to, to a big stress like the intensive care units because um, after the confinement, all the people stayed home, there were no traffic accidents. So our activity uh, was a little bit lower than in a normal conditions. But what we have, we have had to face is uh, to decide what patients uh, have to go to, had to go to the hospital or which patients had to be at home uh, in, well, uh, to decide which patients had to die at home or which patients had to be transferred to the hospital. It was, a very, it was a, the, the harder thing uh, of, of this pandemic for us, I think. Okay, that, that's one of the, the diff, most difficult decisions uh, for a physician, even in, in regular uh, times. Were there any protocols uh, you could rely on or, or was there anything put in place in order to support you making those decisions? Yeah, well, well indeed we are, we are used to do it, uh, but not in, in the same frequency that, that these days. Uh, you have to decide in normal conditions that some patients have to die, but these days we have had um, a lot of patients in, in the same uh, shift to, to decide, and it is psychologically hard to think that um, most of the patients that you have seen in one day have died. It's, uh, it's quite difficult, and it's, 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 um, it's, it's hard psychologically. Uh, anyway, we have, we have, had, we have um, created some protocols to um, allow the, the, the physicians and the, per the sanitary person to be more comfortable uh, doing this. So yeah, we, we have we have had the we have made we have made the protocols to to orientate the people on how to do. Okay, so I understand that you as as physicians and then medical personnel, you got some some psychological support. And um, what about families? Because bearing uh, for the loss of a, a loved one is already difficult, but especially in, in those circumstances, was there any any extra or additional support to to families as well? Yeah, uh, we have had uh, psychological support, psychologists for personnel, for the, the emergency medical system personnel, and also for, for families, because families have seen, uh, well, some families have seen dying their, their, their relatives at home, uh, and some families uh, had, didn't, have, didn't have the opportunity to, to say goodbye because patients were at uh, an old, uh, old people homes and they were not allowed to go in or in the hospital where they would, could not go to say goodbye. So we have had uh, psychological support also for, for the personnel, for the sanitary personnel and also for families too. We, uh, we, have, we have created one telephone line where in the emergency medical system where families and, and everybody could call to to demand psychological assistance. Okay, thank you, Frances. To, to conclude, how, how do you see 
uh, the, the new future, uh, the, the resuming of our activities, the, does the, the crisis have a, a change in your way of thinking or, or the way you, you see the future? Well, uh, in the way, not in the way of thinking, but in the way of acting in the future, yes. Uh, I don't know for how long, but uh, we will have to change um, all of mm, the, the way we, we used to, to do the things and the way we used to to interact with the other people and, and you know within Spain we are very friendly and very um, this is something that we have to change probably uh, in the future I, I don't know I don't know how, for how long we will have to do it but for sure we will okay thank you very much Frenching for this uh, touching uh, testimonial uh, uh, take good care and, and I hope to see you very soon again Thank you to you for inviting me and it has been a pleasure and I want to see you soon too. Bye-bye, Francesc. Bye-bye.